children's librarian here at Azel Memorial Library, and I'm here to show you some new items that we've gotten in our collection, from picture books to young adult books. So let's start with the picture books. I love picture books because they are the gateway to reading. They help kids connect uh, words to pictures, and that is the foundation for reading. So here's a great one that I like that we just got in. Have you ever seen a googly moogly? Well, what is a googly moogly? Well, Courtney Dickmus tells you all about this giant, terrifying fish in her new picture book. The stories that are passed down about the googly moogly from grandmother to granddaughter is that no one, not even you, has ever caught it. Well, Stella is about to change that. She is a girl who is determined to catch the googly moogly. And so she goes to the dock every day. And every day she puts her pole in the water. And every day she comes up with nothing. Until one day she falls asleep and, well, you're just going to have to read the book to find out what happens next. I invite you to this story of a girl who uses persistence to reach her dreams. She never gives up and the fish becomes her friend. I love this book because while it has very simple drawings, the pictures are full of motion, lots of color, and Stella has a lot of expressions. And each picture shows all those emotions with a lot of motion and feeling. The Great Googly Moogly by Courtney Dickmas. Try it. And if you like real and true books, like a lot of boys do, try sinking your teeth into this new offering by artist and naturalist Jim Arnosky. Arnosky has written many award-winning books, all about animals and nature, including Thunderbirds, Nature's Flying Predators, which got on the Texas Blue Bonnet Award list in 2012. Now this time, he returns to the predator world with Tooth and Claw, the wild world of big predators. Great cover, right? You will learn about all different kinds of lions, wolves, bears, and more. The fold-out pages will give you all kinds of information about let me get one here, what we're talking about. Beautiful illustrations by Arnosky. And the text is full of facts about these animals. He also includes lots of drawings. For example, this one gives you different spots so you can tell whether it's a jaguar, a cheetah, or a leopard that is after you. And if you find tracks in the sand, you'll be able to tell what kind of animal it is. The guy on the cover, well, that's the grizzly. And he goes between 600 and 1,000 pounds. But he is not the biggest meat eater on the planet. Oh no, that title belongs to, wait for it, the polar bear, which can top the scales at 2,000 pounds. So here's hoping that you only have to read about these big predators instead of fend one off. Tooth and Claw, The Wild World of Big Predators by Jim Arnosky. Now it's fall and it's time for squirrels to gather their winter food, nuts. Newberry Medal winner Lynn Ray Perkins brings us nuts to you, a wonderful tale that asks the questions, how far would you go to help a friend? And what good is life if you can't tell a good story? Jed the squirrel has been whisked away by a hawk and his friends now must embark on an amazing journey to rescue him. There is danger and mystery and all kinds of excitement. Perkins includes some wonderful illustrations like this one of a bobcat, which helps readers that are moving from strictly picture books to chapter books continue to enjoy reading. 
She also includes, in certain chapters, some questions at the beginning, like this, these ones. Is a sleeping bobcat cute? Why or why not? And does zzz really sound like snoring? And if not, what letters would be better? Now, some of these squirrels in this story don't think before they act. And so then play, plenty of crazy things happen. Nuts to You is easy to read with lots of white space between the lines and the pages. Read it aloud to your parents. Read it to your sister or your brother, but just enjoy it. Nuts to You by Lynn Ray Perkins. So those are just a, those are just a few of the wonderful titles we have in the children's area from picture books to nonfiction to juvenile fiction. Check them out and enjoy them all.